Hello everybody, Paul Richards here and we are talking, we have been talking about YouTube live troubleshooting and in this video we are going to prove that YouTube has a stream key error with pre-scheduled live events and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Uh, it's kind of a problem and uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is OBS. We're just going to stream something that says hello world and uh, it's not going to stream because I already know it won't but I'm pr proving my point here and then going to show you how to fix it. So let's go on that side there. Oh look at that. OBS on one side, YouTube on the other. This is a, an event that was scheduled about a month ago and if you watched our other video uh, we have three of the most common YouTube live errors um, listed and this is the number one error that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I've live streamed for a long time here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into settings and we're going to stream to what YouTube is telling us to stream to. I don't mind that you guys are seeing this stream key because it doesn't work so it's not a big deal. Here's the URL and here is the stream key. Let's go ahead and show it. So everyone can confirm that that is right. Yep, that's right. Okay start streaming could not access the specified channel or stream key double check your stream key okay I've tried this on Wirecast I've tried this on vMix I've tried this on OBS it always is the same thing I'm actually recording this video in vMix so I'm not gonna show it to you in vMix but it's always the same thing um, basically if you schedule a live event and you can see here you can do stream now or you can do live events. If you have a live event that's more than three or four weeks old, it, the stream key most likely will not work. So I'm trying to tell people this, spread the message so that one, YouTube can fix it, and two, so that um, you know you don't go ahead and email a thousand people and post it on social media and do all of this stuff like I have done once before and then you just can't stream to that URL so best practice here folks is to try um, well first of all don't have scheduled streams that are like super old like I like I like it I like to use the scheduled streams and I'll show you why because if you go to my channel page here it goes ahead and automatically says you know here are the upcoming streams set a reminder all of this but this is basically worthless if I can't stream to that event um, so I've had to go into an event like this and change the whole description to say this event doesn't work click the link below stuff like that which is definitely annoying um, so this is a known issue uh, I've reported it to YouTube um, you know, I'm hoping that they're going to fix it, but I just wanted you to, guys to know about this because when it happened to me, uh, I was thinking everything but YouTube. You know, I was thinking it must be vMix, it must be Wirecast, it must be OBS, it must be my operating system. What is it? But it turns out it's just like, like should I, uh, I update update my FFmpeg. Thing. I was trying everything except thinking that it's actually a YouTube error. So it is. It's a YouTube error. Don't go running around trying to to look for things that that aren't there. Um, and it's kind of, it's definitely an annoying uh, bug inside of YouTube Live, but it is what it is. Um, so how to troubleshoot it? You basically just go ahead and delete the event. So you go in here, you delete the event, and you create a new one. That is the only way to troubleshoot this. If you have a new scheduled event, um, it will work completely fine. And I'll just briefly, in case you guys didn't see the other uh, video, the reason why you want to use events as opposed to stream now is because when the video is done and it's posted to your YouTube channel, that video will have all of the views, analytics, and statistics from all the people that watched your video. If you use the stream now feature, which I don't believe they're going to show my key. All right, good. The key is not being shown. I'm not going to even scroll down. If you use the stream now feature, um, the problem with this is that, uh, or the good thing with it is that it gives you the analytics and all the views and everything is attributed to this specific channel. This YouTube never changes. This uh, this URL never changes. In fact, the URL uh, the URL is usually your channel slash live. But um, 
you, when the video is then posted to your uh, videos, it doesn't include any of the views or any of the analytics. So I feel like that's a pretty big issue. Uh, so I like to use the events, but the events don't always work if they've been scheduled too far along out. So that is our number one. Next error has to do with editing video over one hour. Stay tuned. All the links are below to the other videos in the overview video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we have free YouTube Live course on uh, Udemy, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay informed, and we do a live show every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching, everybody.